Hey guys, me Benny back with another video and today, today is a review on the ring I got for Christmas. It comes with a lot of stuff. It comes with that little hanger thing. You can play like Money in the Bank, a ladder match. You can put the title on there. Um, it comes with the WWE Championship, but I'm pretty sure everyone already has this championship. And if you don't, if you're a new collector, I suggest you get this. I say you get a figure and just try to get this belt because this is a really nice belt. Um, it also comes with a table and it comes with that. You can um, take it off and just do regular matches if you want. But uh, yeah, this is a really nice ring. I suggest you get it. And uh, it comes with a little bell. So if you press it, it actually makes sound. So here it is. One, two, it's three. We have a new champion. So it's really cool. I suggest you actually get this from Walmart.com. That's where uh, my uncle got it for me. So it's really nice. It comes with the, it's a raw ring, uh, as you can tell, with the red ropes. Uh, it's really nice. You can make it like a regular ring. You can take this off if you want. And uh, yeah. But let's get into what it comes with. So it comes with um, a belt. This is really nice. Um, I think it's kind of like the new design belts with like basic figures. Or like when we had the battle packs um, and they used to give us belts with it. It's kind of like that design. Um, I think I do have the elite one that comes with. I'll show you guys that right now. Hold on. So here, so here are the belts. Uh, this one is so, so I mean, it's kind of different. As you can tell, it's like more shiny kind of. Like right here, it's more shiny. The gold kind of shines out. And everything else is kind of shiny on it. This one, there's no sign on it or anything. So that's the thing about this belt. But it's still a cool belt to have if you're in your collection. I mean, if you have a company and stuff, you can make this into a custom belt if you want. I, I'm probably going to do that later on. I don't know if I do decide to do it. But here's the other belt. I got this from the Triple H Elite WrestleMania. It was uh, it was the one where he had like a little skull mask. And he had a, um, the championship with it. And uh, a sledgehammer. So this was actually a really cool. That was a really cool Elite. I still have it. And um, yeah. This is from that one. So as you can see. Yeah it has more gold. And um, it has more shiny on it. This one doesn't have that much shine on it. So still pretty cool though. It's a nice belt, still a nice design. Um, the black is really nice, it really stands out, kind of. And not kind of, but it really does stand out. Um, the shine on the silver, I think it's the same thing with the Elite belt right here. It's just a little, I would say a little bit more shine, just like a little bit. I think not, I think they have the both amount of shine, but yeah, uh, the red across is really nice too. Um, so yeah, this is a really nice belt it comes with, and here's the other one. So yeah, so that's really nice. I suggest if you don't have a WWE Championship and you're looking for a ring too, I suggest you get this ring and you get the WWE Championship. So if you want to put the WWE Championship on there, all you have to do is I suggest you strap it because that's how a, a Money in the Bank ladder match is. So you have this little hook and you want to just put it in that little hook and you want to make sure it's kind of tight so it doesn't just keep on falling. So you want to put it in the hook like that so it doesn't fall. And you can do a ladder match if you want. And, uh, yeah. So, let's get into the other accessory it comes with. It comes with a red table. Yes, it is breakable. But it's it's not breakable if you just, like, you have to actually press them through the table. So, like, let me just get, um, like, Daniel Bryan right here. Uh, you can't just, some table you can just throw it on there or up. I mean, I guess it broke. But sometimes if you don't put too much pressure on it, it will not break. So, if you put a little bit of pressure on the figure, it will not, it will not break. But if you put pressure on the figure where, like, you just slam it, it would break. So that's the cool thing about the table. It's kind of like those ringside tables that you buy with the, that you buy with the sets. But let's look at it right now. Oh, uh, yeah, again, like, this is, like, the ringside kind of one. Uh, it has the WWE logo on there. You can kind of see it, and it's really nice. Um, sorry, I just dropped it. But it has a little black uh, leg, so that's pretty nice, too. Um, nice design, too, it's with the raw design, too. So that's really nice. Yeah, I like how they did that. But um, I, it would be cool if they did do like a regular table design. But a red one is pretty cool because if you want to do like signature signing or stuff, this would really match that. And uh, here's the other piece. These are, um, I have my other table pieces. I say these are a little bigger than them. Uh, let me get my, my other table piece and I'll show you guys. So here's a black table I got off Amazon. And it was three pieces. It was a three uh, set table. It was all black, but this is really nice too. Um, as you can see, I think it's kind of smaller 
and this one's a little bigger. I think it's because since it's kind of pointing down, when you break it, it's like that. And this one just has like a, a kind of like a like a straight look, but this one just you know it's kind of cracked in different places and stuff. So I think it's because of that. But this these this, these like pieces look bigger than it. Let me put it to side to side, and I'll show you guys. So here it is, side to side. Um, for some reason, it doesn't want to stay like that. But here's the regular one. As you can see, it, that one's a little bigger. It's a little wider too. So yeah, that's the cool thing about this table. And this, this table, like, it's uh, it's kind of like a signature signing one that you can like you know do a signature signing if you want. So it's really nice. And uh, let me get right into the other piece of accessory it comes with. So here, so here's the other piece it comes with. The other accessory. Um, it has, it's really nice, and I suggest if you want to do ladder matches and stuff, this is a really good thing. I mean, it comes with a hook, but you cannot pull the hook down a little more, or you could, you could try to pull it up and try to tie it somewhere, but yeah. But I still like it. I mean, you could do money in the bank with this. You can do a championship ladder match with it, as you guys saw, as I, as I showed you guys, how you can put the hook on it, and, um, how you can put it on the hook. And then this is really nice. I mean, it's really detailed. The silver looks really nice. And if you want, like, you can you can make your figures climb on there. You can put two, I mean, you can put, like, a two hands right here. Make them climb. So this is really nice. And I suggest you get this. It is breakable, but I don't want to break it right now. Because, um, just, you know, it'll take, it'll take a little time to set it back up. Not a little, not time, but just, I don't want to really break it right now in half. But yeah, this is really nice. I suggest, um, if you don't have, like, you know, a ladder match thing or a ladder match accessory, you get this. I'm telling you guys, you gotta get this ring. It's so nice. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's that, you know, I have, it has a silver look on it. Really nice. It's really detailed too. So, yeah. Now, let's get right into the ring. So, this ring is actually really nice. If you want a raw ring, I suggest you get this because it comes with accessories. But this little thing, you're wondering why does it have that little square look? It's because it does, like, launch. So, if you want to put your figures on there, um, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand, but if you want to put your figures on there, you could press this up and it literally launches, I'm pretty sure. I just have to find. So it literally does, it launches. It literally launches like that. And you can put your figures on there and they literally launch. So that's really nice about it. And it'll start to count for you too. Um, here's the stickers. I think it's like the 2019 kind of look um, of the Raw logo. Here's some uh, stickers on the ring post. And another one over here. Same thing with all of them. And then uh, this one's kind of ripped because I accidentally kind of ripped it. But yeah, here's the uh, WB logo look. Um, I would actually really like them. I, I think on the uh, the actual elite scale rings, they don't have the sticker. But I would really like them not to give us a sticker anymore because I don't know. It's just kind of getting annoying. And if I take it off, it just looks really weird. So I wish they would not give the sticker anymore on the rings, and they would just you know paint it off. But hey, it's still a cool ring. Um, you know, you got the turnbuckles. I did not put any stickers on the turnbuckle yet, but I will later. And you, I, you got these little holes, so you probably do want to put the little stickers on it. And um, right here, I don't know if you can kind of see, there's like a little hole in there. Like, if, I suggest you put the um, you put the um, stickers on there. But with these new rings, the cool thing about these new rings is they they have this little thing where you can pose your figures on them right there the like you could put a um like if you look at this bianca belair it has a little hole in there i'll probably put it on the light for you guys it has a little hole in there and you could just you know you know just pose her on there put the little uh thing in the hole so that was really like that's really nice it comes i think it's with all of them it has all of them on there so it's really nice of a ring um again it's just really nice it has the red ropes it's really detailed I wish, I'm pretty sure though, in 2019 they did have the red ropes, but if they would make this like a new ring, it would be white ropes, but I do like the red ropes. I wish they kept the red ropes in, um, in the actual WWE, but hey, it's still nice. So, this is a really nice ring. If you're going to get this, I suggest you get it on walmart.com. That's, that's where my uncle got it for me, and that's such a nice ring. It's my favorite ring. My first ever ring is still there. I'm never going to throw that away. I'm going to keep it there. Uh, for the rest of the time I collect, um, I'm going to just keep it there. And I might even use it for matches sometimes because I can put this on there, I'm pretty sure, too. So I might even use it for matches, who knows. 
But um, yeah, this ring is, I'm going to be using this a lot for matches now. And if you guys are wondering when the next CBW Wednesday Night War episode is going to be, I'm debating it's going to probably be tomorrow or it's going to be next next Wednesday because i got to film a lot of stuff. And um, if you guys can, I'll try to see if the comments are on this video. If you guys can, please tell me because on this, on this card, there is somebody that is going to verse Jey Uso. But... What's going to happen is it's your pick. So if you guys want to pick somebody, you guys could. I'll let you know if I have them. If I don't, um, or if I don't, just pick somebody else. And uh, who knows? If you get lucky enough, I will pick you. So yeah, see you guys for my time. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys know when I upload a video or when I upload a match or something. So yeah, I'll, I'll be doing matches for fun, like without even people in my company. Like I'll be doing Drew Matt. Sometimes I'll be like doing ladder matches. Uh, the first match I'll do for fun is going to be Jeff Hardy, the Hardy Boys versus the Usos. So, yeah. But here's the ring, and I'll put all the accessories inside. So, we'll get back to it. Oh, and you're probably wondering, why does it not come with the ladder? Because since this thing launches them up, you know, you could try to grab it from there. So, that's why it does not come with a ladder. But you could put a ladder on there. So, yeah. But uh, let me get all the accessories, and I'll probably put a ladder in there for you guys, too, if you guys want to see what it looks like. So, here we go in three, two. And here it is with all the accessories. I just put that ladder there because it does not come with one. But here's a ladder I put there. The red table and the championship. And you do not have to put it in that corner. You could put it in any one of these corners right here. So you could put it on this corner. You could put it on that corner. You could put it on this corner. But I suggest where you're playing. Like I'm sitting right here. So I'm close to this one. So you don't want to put it on this one because it will kind of, you know, you will not be able to kind of move your arm. Kind of hurt your arm. So I suggest like to do one of these or I suggest you do those two back so whichever ones are on the back you do those two so you can pose them on your figures play with your figures um comfortable be comfortable and um so yeah but this is all the accessories that come with please subscribe guys it'll be a lot of things for me um I think we're at 51 subscribers or 52 road to 100 subscribers let's go try to get 100 try to make my dream come true for YouTube um and uh, yeah I'll see you guys some other time peace out Peace out, soldiers. Have a good night or have a good day. Peace out, soldiers. See you, see you, see you some other time. Peace out.